What's up guys, it's Alex from Everyday Biking and with the extremely rainy start to our summer holidays, I thought this was a great opportunity to make a short little video on why you should not be riding in the rain and after the rain. Now hopefully for uh, many of you, the information presented in this video should be pretty obvious and stuff that you already follow. And if you do, that's great. But there are still a lot of people out there who have the whole, oh, you're not a real rider if you don't ride in the rain because they're hardcore riders. But today I will be giving some reasons why you definitely should reconsider going on that rain ride and why you should just maybe wait it out till it's a little bit more sunny and dry. So first of all, it's not really that great on your bike. The rain, the mud, you don't really want that stuff getting into bad places, especially when you're gonna have to clean your bike afterwards. It's gonna be quite tough. And not only is it gonna be quite tough, it's just gonna take forever. Mud and stuff like that, it's just time consuming. No one wants to spend more time cleaning their bike than they did actually riding the bike that day. That's just no fun. And if you're someone who loves cleaning bikes uh, that are covered in mud, then I mean, uh, I don't know. But aside from uh, not being great on your bike, it's not great on the trails. I mean, even today I'm pushing it. The trails aren't too muddy. We had some rain, but I'm not leaving any ruts or anything, so I am pushing it to even make this video, but it's not like I'm riding in total downpour. But the issue is when you do ride when it's soaking wet, you really, really hurt the trails. <laughs> you really, really hurt the trails. There is a reason, believe it or not, why HydroCut closes whenever there is a single droplet of rain. There's also a reason why they are the flowiest, smoothest trails in Ontario. And believe it or not, those two things uh, are not a coincidence. You know, I can see it on this trail. There's these tiny little mud puddles. And the more you dig into them with your tires, the more people that go through a trail. And you see this at Kelso. Kelso is just covered in these huge mud holes that you just don't see at Hydrocut. And it's one of the huge advantages Hydrocut has over Kelso. Let's say you do come across some mud on the trail. You know, it can be dry for a while, but sometimes they don't always go away. Now in this case, it's actually better to just ride through the puddle because when you ride around a puddle, you're just increasing the size of the crater. You're expanding the trails out to the side and when that pit dries up, you're gonna be left with a giant crater that's gonna be even more work for the trail crew rather than if you were just riding through the mud puddle. So no matter how hardcore of a rider you are, it's, uh, it's pretty inconsiderate to be riding in a downpour. And I kind of understand it, it is kind of fun. The rain is kind of fun. I, I kind of like being out in the rain sometimes, as long as it's not freezing cold but a good summer rain can be a fun time. But on the trails, you really just want to wait until it clears up. And it especially sucks that this week, the weather forecast is just showing rain. We all just got out of school for us students watching this. You want to ride your bike, but if it is completely torrential downpouring, if the trails are completely soaked and muddy, Hydra cut is close. You know, respect the trails. Stay off of it. We have all summer to enjoy them. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, maybe this was a bad idea, given the wet conditions. God, that last bit. 
I'm keeping that in the video. That was sketchy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't ride after it's rainy, because the trails are a little slippery. <laughs> Anyways, join our Discord using the link in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like. Comment down below if I missed any good tips on why you shouldn't uh, ride in the rain. Love to hear if there's anything that I don't know about that out so is uh, an important reason. So let us know. And that's it for today. And yeah, I'm excited for uh, summer content. Now that school is out, got no excuses. And I uh, can't wait to see what we can do this summer. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.